Welcome to Rebecca Sounds Reveille. I am absolutely ecstatic today because I've got somebody who is going to really be able to make your life different. And why? Because it's going to push you through some things that maybe you didn't know based on what she does. She's a sales ex- she's a sales executive for a food and safety firm, health and wellness coach, podcast show host. She holds an early childhood education degree from Miami University. And she spent, well, more than half her career field in the field of operational excellence. And this is assisting businesses such as Chick-fil-A, Target, Regal Cinema. And she's been able to provide them with tools and resources on how to operate and grow their brand. So we're talking big stuff here, which means you're going to learn a lot today. She's really well-versed and um, well-known for a lot of different things, the different types of facets of sales, marketing, quality assurance. This is super important because we're really lacking that right now. She's also very well-versed in hiring and training along with strategic business and budget needs. Crucial. You, as a small business or a home business uh, person, are going to be able to pick up a lot of tips and tricks from her. You're going to absolutely love it. She has really brought her sales techniques and process to a coaching program that's pivoted with her passion and towards helping others um, in coaching and business owners and people like you and I. I mean, we've got businesses that we do ourselves. So I want to bring her on and make sure that you get connected and hear all that she has and all that she is passionate about. With me, Erin Rector, welcome to the show. Rebecca, thank you. I'm so excited to be here today. I am excited too, because one of the things that I really love to do is bring tools and resources out to people who can use those strategies to just plow forward in life and start moving ahead at a faster pace. Because sometimes instead of trying to reinvent the wheel ourselves, it's easier when we're being guided by a mentor or even, I mean, even a virtual mentor uh, that is able to say, Hey, I've been here. Here's something that you can do. Try this. And you're just, you just start rapidly making a difference in your own world. And this is so, so important. And you do it. I do. I do it really in every facet of my life. So it's super exciting that you invited me on to be here and and talk about that because I do think it's super important in, you know, moving, moving us forward. That's the whole goal, right? (laughs) Yeah, it, it is. How did you get started in sales? I mean, because I know one of your things is kind of the quote about overcoming the salesy stereotype. <laughs> yeah, so that's so that's exactly it. I actually fought a career in sales for a really long time. I had always been told that I would be great at it. I've had opportunities before and I turned it down. I turned it down for years and I just I, you know, like a lot of people I talk to as well, have that image in my head of a used car salesman who's, you know, smoking a cigarette and trying to sell you the piece of junk sitting over here that has, you know, three wheels and, you know, doesn't run. So that's just the image that I think a lot of us have in our head. And I fought it for years. I got connected with someone from a, from a past life, a, a past career. And had reached out. We had a wonderful conversation. And he said, you know, I think that you'd be great for our organization. You have all the values that we have. We have a position open. It's in sales. And I instantly cringed. I was like, I love this though. Oh, I, I seriously, I was just like, oh man, I don't, that's not what I wanted to hear. So I spoke with him and then I spoke with some of his colleagues who is, are actually now my bosses. And they really, you know, I remember even having the conversation with her. She's like, you're going to be great at this. And I'm like, you're supposed to say that you're in sales. <laughs> and she said, no, seriously, you're going to be amazing. So I, I took the leap of faith. I jumped in and I, I can tell you that my only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. I really I love that. I love it. I love my job. I just, it was, it was a game changer. And I do, I don't have regrets in life, but I will say that I do wish I did it sooner. Sales is something that can benefit us on a multitude of levels. 
And it really helps in communication. It helps with broadening our circle. It's not just about driving home products like the used car salesman does. <laughs> There's yeah. so much more to this because we're selling ourselves. And if we look at our, our own person, our own personal self as a brand. Yep. Exactly. I love that you said that. Yeah, it's just, I, and it's really interesting too, because having those skills allows you to be able to get in the door in a lot of different arenas. And so many people don't realize that having that skill will always give you sort of a plan, another plan if something doesn't work out because businesses are always looking to for growth and sales is their number one strategy. Absolutely. So this is exciting. So you've been doing this for a, a very long time. You've been building major brands and a lot of people don't realize who's behind all that. How did these people get to where they are, where they're just this multi-million or billion dollar corporation? Yeah, so that's a great question. And you know, everybody has to start somewhere. And I think that the the real key is that, you know, once you grow and it, you obviously have to have a solid brand message, a brand mission, a brand purpose. And, you know, I can and think of one brand in particular, you know, Truett Cathy was always very open about his um, career and how he built Chick-fil-A from the ground up. And he was a true salesman. He really was. And he built his brand by building partnerships. He built a partnership with Ford. Uh, that was right across the street from his first ever, uh, it wasn't called Chick-fil-A at the time, but he built those relationships and then look what we have today. So from an operational excellence standpoint, you know, we, they come up with their standards and their brand mission as a company. And then we're hired to go in and ensure that they are operating for those standards. So it's a really fascinating job. And it was, it was one of the best jobs I've ever had. And it really, gave me the tools I need to be successful as in sales because it taught me all about building relationships and really understanding how the core of different businesses operate. It's really interesting that you talk about Chick-fil-A because if there is a brand that shows that their mission and their values can sustain changes in the social climate and still be respected, it is that brand. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yes. They do it. They do it well. That's yes. And because of just them fulfilling these things in such a in a way that they have built relationships, mm -hmm. it's been able to work very well. And I think that's the key that you said. And so you have really been able to acquire in a mass, massive skill that has been duplicatable. And you're working with people with your own coaching program as well as having a podcast to ensure that all of these things, these tools and resources, golden nuggets, it takes so many people a long time to learn. You're able to provide those. And I think that this is absolutely incredible. How did you like maneuver into that direction? That's a great question. I love telling the story. I, um, so alongside of my own professional journey, I've also been in a health and wellness journey um, on my own, losing uh, over a hundred pounds, depending upon the day. <laughs> okay, so let me just stop right there because you've got a lot of a lot of golden nuggets that are going to be able to really grasp the audience attention because you're hitting on two things that are so important, and that's our self reflection, our self esteem, and yes. our relationships. And if you combine the two, you're talking about making the spotlight all about you. So you've got to listen to this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so I, so I um, am on my health and wellness journey and then COVID-19 happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I, you know, kind of honestly had a little bit of a mental freak out because I was like, uh, my gym is closed. What am I supposed to do? So yeah. I ended up joining a virtual health and wellness program and became a coach. There are probably 2,000, 2,500 coaches out there uh, for this brand. And they were all asking me, 
how are you doing this? Like, how are you, you know, getting these partnerships with nutrition shops and how are you getting these partnerships with chiropractors? And, uh, I started to think, I just thought everyone knew how to do this. (laughs) This is normal. I actually came up with scripts that I shared with these coaches and then they were asking me to help them. So I pivoted and I, I do still health and wellness coaching but I really pivoted my business, my core business to um, working with other coaches and helping them, you know, develop sales strategies, but also the confidence that it takes to reach out to others because it does take a lot of confidence. I can attest to that because I have a sales background and I, I figured this is going to give me two lines of things. I'm going to pursue my passion and I'm also going to do this, which I was also passionate about because of the amount of skills that I was learning, I, but not having been around it for just a little while and recently sort of evolving back, I have a little home business that I do. And so there was something that I had to do recently and that I'm, I'm skilled. I am really skilled. I mean, I've been a successful person in sales. Yeah. But not having addressed it the way that I had done in the past for so long and then going out there and doing it again, I was, I, I, that fear, I mean, I was just fear mm-hmm. like, okay, making that call. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was really amazing because I'm an experienced person, but we go through this and this yeah. is why it's really important to stay on top of all of it. Just continue to develop. Don't lose things. And you're doing this. Yes. Absolutely. And you, you are a hundred percent correct. We all go through those moments and, you know, even myself as successful as I've been, you know, we all have those moments where we think, Oh, I could have handled that better. Or I'm a little nervous to do this, but you, you push through and you refocus and you get it done. (laughs) Well, one of the things I have found, and I'm going to venture to say that most of us will do this. So we, you know, we face this fear whether it's public speaking or getting on the phone Mm -hmm. with a cold call or going in for your first presentation for some sales that you're doing, whether it's virtual or not. So you, you kind of push through that fear and you're just that, you know, you're just so nervous inside, but you get through it. And the results that you get, even if you got a no, there is something that changes in you that brings excitement and you want to do it again. (laughs) It's like, I got to do this again. I want to reach out and talk to somebody else because you start feeling like you can sort of fine tune your personality to meet whatever's going on and you get a little bit more confident in you. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm the same way. I feed off of that excitement. Even like you said, even if you get a no, it's still really exciting. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And if you look at it like that, instead of be like, okay, I can't do this. No, you go, okay, this is really cool because well, yeah. now I know if somebody else says that again, it's kind of like one of those things where somebody has said or done something and you're feeding off of that for a couple of days. And you're just like, yeah. you know what? I, I wish I would have said this. Well, it's kind of like that. Cause you're like, now I know how to approach this in a way that's going to be appealing to somebody and it'll end up being a win-win but you wouldn't have known it otherwise. So I just get excited about that kind of stuff. Bring me a challenge. Yes, I'm with you. I was just going to say, I'm so driven that even if I mess up or if something, you know, quote unquote mess up or something happens that I, I don't feel was handled properly, like I'm excited to jump back in there and be like, let somebody ask me that again. I want to answer it right this time. Yeah, and another thing too is stories are so part of, sales because people like to know that you can empathize, not sympathize, empathize with what they're going through. Right. So some of these little faux pas allow you to bring a story, especially if you're training somebody else and you're, you're building your business. If you're like, let's just say you're in direct sales and you're doing, you're building your business and you're trying to let somebody else know, Hey, it's okay. I've been there too. And they're like, yeah, yeah. You haven't been exactly where (laughs) I'm at. You can be like, okay, let me tell you what happened on my first call or my first presentation or what, I don't know, whatever, but it's just so exciting. And so you're out there, you're developing people because you have a passion for this. Yeah. Yeah. So I do, I have such a passion for helping people. It truly is 
who I am in every facet of my life, from being a mother to being a wife and professionally as a coach, I am, I'm here to help people. And, you know, one of the things that I like to teach, um, in, in my coaching business is even if you can't help someone, find someone who can, because that me has been a game changer in everything I do from personally to professionally. I'm constantly connecting people. Like if I hear, Oh man, I could really use a uh, air conditioning repairman. I know one, or I know someone that knows one. So I'm just like the queen of connecting. I just I do this. Oh my gosh. I do the same thing because I love bridging those things. Me too. Okay. So you mentioned something though, too. I really, I want to go back to sure. a little bit of the sales and the coaching, because this is really important for moms that stay at home or just mm-hmm. moms in general. You got to sell certain things to get your kids to do certain things. <laughs> so you're in sales, you are in sales and you're building relationships that way too. I mean, this is, all, <laughs> I know it's funny to say, but to think about it, you know, this is what we do. We sell oh, absolutely. Our, our, the, our passions, things that we're passionate about. So I, I think that this is really exciting. And so you went on to have a podcast as well as a coaching business. Yeah. I want to hear all about this. Yeah. So I decided that a podcast would be the perfect medium for me. Uh, I love to speak to people. I just, I enjoy it. I love interviewing. I love having conversations with people. So I just thought it was perfect. I was a little hesitant, but I just dove right in like everything else I do. So I have a podcast that is called A A Cup of Confidence with Aaron Rector. And we talk about confidence in the sales industry, but we also talk about confidence in life because I think that they really go hand in hand. And I just think that being a confident person in everything that you do makes you successful in in all realms of your life. I agree with you. I agree with you. And it makes you feel good about you. When we go around feeling apprehensive and fearful about things, it does put these barriers up from us achieving different goals because we're just afraid to um, get certain results. And usually when we kind of face that fear, we find out it wasn't as scary as we thought and the results did not end up the way that we thought it would. It's much, much better. Yeah, I think that that's the one thing I've learned in my life is I can't remember a time where I wish, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you know, I always am like, oh, I should have done that sooner. What was I, why was I holding myself back? So I, I completely agree with you. You know, that is a really important point to make because I think oftentimes we go in and we think, oh, I'll wait. Or, and then we look back and it's like, why did I wait? And life is so short. There's been, and if this last year didn't wake up a lot of people to how short life is, we really need to revisit that because things can happen. In, I mean, at any given moment, life can be going one way for you and you might have to, I don't you have a medical issue that keeps you home now and you can't do what you were doing, but you still can be doing other things. And if at one point you're like, I don't know if I would ever be able to do that, do it, learn it, yeah. learn yeah. it, embrace it. Cause you don't I know. Completely and, agree. And sometimes you might find that was a lot more rewarding than where I'm at now. And I think I really need to pursue that Avenue because that's going to bring me so much happiness and the joy that it's going to put in my life is going to be a game changer. Yep. Yeah, the woulda, shoulda, coulda. I wish that, you know, <laughs> that's right. Oh my goodness. The life is so short. What is the most profound thing um, as far as sales go that isn't salesy that allows someone to gain some confidence? So I think for me, and this is what I, I teach in my training as well, is knowing knowing statistics behind it. So knowing that 
out of a hundred phone calls, I'm going to talk to one person and that's great. (laughs) That's a really, that's an important point to make because if somebody made, you know, 67 calls and they decided to give up, but there are actual statistics that show that every so many yo's you, you are going to get a yes to whatever it is. Yeah. 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 It's approximately 10 no's before you get one. Yes. And I think just being aware of that is so helpful and really was a game changer for me personally. And it really just showed me like, okay, you know, that this is okay. A no is okay. Just keep moving on and you're going to get a yes. And then you do. So I, I think that that's a really important factor because statistics oftentimes are overlooked, but those are, that's data that has been reviewed. It's been, and it's consistent pretty much across the board on that for a number of different areas of um, salesy stuff. (laughs) (laughs) If I put it that way. I love it. (laughs) I love this too. You're really, really doing a lot for a lot of people. And I, I've got to tell you, I want the audience to really be able to connect with you because what you're doing is changing the lives. And I think just from one episode of your show or one coaching, it's going to be so, the trajectory is going to be a completely different thing after that. Because once we have these things planted in, our mind, our creativeness allows us to view things in a different perspective than what we went into it with. So let me ask you, what is the best, give a, I, I want all contact information and then the best way to contact with, maybe even work one-on-one with you. Awesome. So thank you so much for saying that. First of all, it means a lot to me because that's really my mission. So you can connect on Facebook. I have a Facebook group. It's Aaron Rector Confidence Coach. And on Instagram at confidence underscore coach underscore Aaron, and that's E-R-I-N. And then confidencecoacherin.com is my website. And you can reach out to me there for any coaching sessions. I love this. Let's talk to you about your Facebook group because the algorithms have kind of changed now with Facebook. (laughs) So it's really important that you connect a certain way there. And so tell me a little bit about the group and how people can get involved and what, what goes on. So they get an idea. It's and Facebook's groups are great because there's no charge to get into the group. Right. Yes, there's not. So it is a free Facebook group. And you, uh, when you enter in, there's just a few questions and really it's very basic, just be nice and no, you know, hate or bullying. So just be, kind and polite. And we're all entrepreneurs, a lot of mompreneurs, uh, but all entrepreneurs. And we share tips, best practices. We share stories. We share frustrations. We share every Friday, we share success. So every Friday, I make sure that we share our biggest win for the week, uh, which is so important to be able to celebrate big success and little success. And um, every day of the week is really a different topic. I share a lot of value. I share um, a lot of different Topics about how to find your ideal client, uh, language that we use in sales that is, you know, more strategic to speaking to your ideal client. And then we also do goals every Sunday. I think it's really important that we all share our goals with each other so that we can hold each other accountable. And then there's just a lot of other fun stuff in between. So this is exciting. Now, do you share a little bit about the health coaching as far as like weight loss goes? Because you, I mean, you're an incredible story and you're a billboard for doing the right thing. Thank you. And yes, we do. So I do have several uh, other health and wellness coaches in there as well. And because that's really how I got started. And we do share um, health and wellness success stories, kind of what's still going on in that space as well. And then on my own personal uh, Facebook page, I share and Instagram, I share my health and wellness journey as well. I I am really embracing this for my own and for, for my own personal issues, my own professional issues. I've got to tell you, I love this and I want all of you to as well. So definitely connect with Erin because she's going to really do, I mean, just even in the small nuggets that you're going to get, you're going to find a lot of, a lot of really good things. And so I want to thank you for being with us today. I am jazzed. I've had a lot of fun. 
Me too. This was fantastic. Oh, and I can't wait to have you on again soon. So we will have you back. Awesome. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. And I want to thank all of you for tuning into another episode of Rebecca Sounds Reveille. Make sure that your friends, family, everybody you know, and as you know what I say, everybody you don't, <laughs> is connected with Aaron because this is stuff that's going to really be able to fast forward, launch, do different things with your life, with your career, and you are going to really enjoy life because of it. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Ciao for now.